You know, I would say it's not really new for us over time. Because given our history as a bank, we've been the last 100 years plus. And globally, there's a lot of action on elements of climate change, uh, the sustainable development goals, and really the impact of businesses in the communities that they operate. I don't think the banks can stay away to, from their own businesses without doing activities or, or looking at what they do, their positive actions, what they do in their negative actions. And therefore, in the long run, in the world we live today, we want to be able to contribute positively to the environment that we operate. And we've seen major challenges across the world on environmental, social, and governance issues, even post the financial crisis that happened more than 10 years ago. The good thing about this is there is a unification today of the code of principles we're going to have today. So we have different frameworks, whether they have been the World Bank, they have been the IMF, they have been the Equator Principles. Different countries have had different guidelines. I, don't, I think it is coming very closely to the SDGs. It's one uniform profile for enterprises across the world and therefore this applies very specifically to the banking sector. Now in our market we've already seen a number of actions sustainable actions by industry. And what we like to see, you know, KCB is uh, today a pioneer in our market in terms of adopting and contributing the guidelines. But we'll see this moving into other financial institutions, not just here, but across the region. Traditionally, you know, institutions publish their financial numbers or their results and some key ratios. What we don't do is to show the other part of uh, sustainable action plans and results which are non-financial today. So it could be, for instance, the level of our consumption, the level of our emissions. So ultimately, we want to be on a near zero. What is really our positive contributions or what is our negative adverse effect that we have? And by having measures aligned to our plans and strategy as a business and as a bank, I believe we can then be making progress in terms of delivery of our collective actions as an institution. The greatest value for these banking principles today is about shaping the future of the sector. Yeah? And even how banks will operate for tomorrow, which is an issue we don't always discuss as, as, as industry. But I would say three main areas for us. So helping us to be able to deliver the capital that we have into banks to sectors we want to support. And some that we do not want to support an industry. And that's something we've been working on very closely. Uh, working with entrepreneurs, enterprises to develop, which is a major challenge for our markets in Africa today and also working with our clients and customers in terms of seeing a better commitment for the level of service. Now, banks have been challenged globally on our level of service, level of commitment and trust. How do you build that confidence by committing to particular priorities? I would say it's more to bring in other banks into the pro profile, I, you know, because now it is you'll have much more institutions available for us. I will encourage and, and, and really work very collectively with a lot of banks. We, and now, since we have standard measures that we're going to operate on as banks, it will be easy to get new institutions to join. So this is a great opportunity for institutions to be able to have a platform that we can be able to share the risks, to be able to profile the businesses that we are lending to and investing in, and in a way, catalyze the growth agenda and perhaps push the momentum, not just here in our market, but across the world. It's a global movement. And it's a, it's a time for banks to stand tall enough in their responsibility in terms of providing access to capital, but to lead the future businesses and shape the destiny of our planet. So what we see as a bank doing in the next few months and into the next year is really aligning uh, or looking at the kind of principles which we have. We have six principles which we set up today. Align those that we are going to be very active on to, in the first year into our strategy, you know, and be able to align them in the action plans for the next year and the year after. The second one then is to pick up clear measures uh, in terms of the areas that we've set up to act upon. And those guidelines will be short term, which will be one year, medium term, three years, and long term, five years. Third issue then is to make sure that all our staff all our partners are informed and aware. So there will be an advocacy campaign to make sure that every single person, we've done that before, 
We've certified our staff before on an earlier program, which makes sure that people are, you know, whether it's a digital certifications or it's an online platform that they have, that will make sure that every single staff within our network and our partners understand the program that we have. And then finally, using this information to drop in peer banks uh, within our markets. And that will bring in an ecosystem of institutions which will be strong enough to drive the change you're looking for.